I know it sounds crazy, Phil, but I'm telling you, the evidence is piling up. And, and, and I, I remember what Jeremy said. He made a very good point. But the moon is a mirror. I'm trying to tell you, man. <laughs> it was put there by NASA. I've got it on good authority that that's true. Oh, man. But, you know, I, I didn't believe it myself at first. But it is piling up. The Earth is definitely flat. Hello, hello, everybody. Hi. What's the guy? How's it going? The problem is with the government. You know, no one's even allowed to explore the South Pole, really. Not without government permission. It's because they don't want anyone to find the ice wall and what's on the other side. Yeah, exactly. If if they were if someone were to do that, it would blow their whole round earth myth out of the water. Yeah. What if we found the ice wall and showed everyone that we're not crazy? Listen, Jenna. I know how enticing it seems to to just like break government rules and go to the South Pole, but I mean, take it from someone who's been in government custody. It's not worth it. Uh, I think today I, we have some new people I'd like to start off. You seem new. I recognize you. Mm -hmm. Let's let's start off with some introductions. How about that? Hey, everyone. My name's Colin, and today is my first day as a flat earther. All right. Yeah. Get around for Colin. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. Abby. Hi, everyone. My name's Elizabeth, and I've been a flat earther for five years. Nice. All right. Ooh, thank you. Good to have you, Elizabeth. Good to be here. Uh, I'm Jenna, and I have been a flat earther for two and a half years now. Nice. Okay. Welcome, Jenna. Welcome, Jenna. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Stephen, and I have been a flat earther for approximately four years now. Nice. Right. Welcome, Stephen. Um, I'm Richard. Um, this is actually my my one year anniversary of the, when I decided to be a flat earther. Nice. nice. Congratulations. 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 Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. I'm Casey. Um, this is actually my first month as a flat earther. Nice. Okay. Wow. Right on, Casey. Awesome. Getting in awesome. there. Nice. Uh, um, I'm Ian. Uh, I'm uh, new to the whole idea, but uh, um, I'm dabbling. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, it was nice meeting you all, and then I just wanted to uh, thank you again for allowing us to uh, uh, make you part of our film. <laughs> Jenna, but you can call me by mm -hmm. I can feel the deep tremblings of Mother Earth resonate deep within me, all the way across this entire plane to the ends of the Earth. Where would you say these, uh, these vibrations, where would you say that they, they, they go to? I believe that they follow all the way to the ice wall and then bounce back and give us our energy. These coconuts. Did you feel that? Yeah. Bounced all the way to the ice wall and back here unto us. Have you ever felt such fertile coconuts? I can't see that I have. You feel one. There's a life force in there. This is a headband that my grandmother gave me before she was taken to Area 51. I'll say no more. Ian, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold it up. Okay. Other hand.
was beautiful. Did you feel that? I think so. You have a strong presence, Ian. I'm gonna have to write this down. Goodness. Shall we do this over lunch? Sure. Okay. Chilies? Hello, my name is Elizabeth. I have been studying geology for 10 years, you know, it's a continuous process studying every day. And I've also been a flat earther for five years. So, Elizabeth, mm -hmm. when did you first start believing the world was flat? It was back in 2001. I was uh, out in the Nevada deserts researching odd rock formations and the government ops from NASA came in and escorted me to a warehouse and detained me for three hours. Yeah, got a good look-see in there. Yeah. All of these documents, you see this nebula photo? <laughs> NASA photoshops the images. I mean, there's so many, like someone altered the image. Indeed, someone had three different filters. Like, uh, could easily do this on like word art, like, This is very important. That was upside down. It's flat, flat Earth. I could go on about this NASA stuff forever, but if you want to learn more about the flat Earth theories, you should come to the meeting. Meeting? Mm -hmm. um, you should talk to Mike. He's your man for everything flat Earth related. Hi, I am Michael J. Fulovitz. Uh, you can call me Mike. But um, I am a preacher and I have been teaching flat earth gospel for many years now. I think I, if I really think about it, I've believed in that the earth is flat for, I mean, forever. I've believed in the word of God for as long as I can remember. Were there any explicit uh, allusions made in, in, in uh, for instance, the Bible or any other, other text that may be uh, on a similar stature? I mean, there are so many references that people just don't even get because they just, they're told what to believe. I mean, think about Amos 9-6. He describes the face of the earth under a vaulted dome. Seems like he's describing a flat earth to me. I mean, everybody's just been told what to believe and they're not really looking for the subtext of what the Lord is trying to really tell us. So this is filled with references. Just take a look. I've got plenty of these. People may say, like, if, if, if the moon, for instance, is round, then, then wouldn't, um, why wouldn't the Earth be round as well? You have to think about it like this. The moon, gravity, pretty much everything is a tool. This world was created for us, God's children. The moon is spherical, but think about this. Does the moon host life? No. No. Do any of the other planets that are also so-called spheres, do they host life? No, I can't no. say that they do. Who hosts life? <laughs> we do. So you have to think about it like this. The moon is there to sustain us. It guides us at night. It, it revolves around our Earth. The Earth is here for us, and the moon is here working for us. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Of course. Um, it's because it's the truth. Today I'd like to welcome you for joining me. And, or, well, I would like to thank you for joining me <laughs> as we welcome new members. And I realize that we may have some non-believers amongst us, but not to worry. Because after today, I will have us all following the right path. And I promise you, you will never regret it. I understand there are some non-believers here, but... I think by the end of the day you will see that the earth is in fact flat.